Hi, I'm Travis Green, NetIQ Product Marketing Manager. First of all, IT organizations want to improve their productivity. Many IT organizations struggle with keeping up with daily operational tasks. For example, many of the application developers out there will create these applications that have memory leaks. Those memory leaks sometimes are never repaired, and so operations teams have to go out and reboot servers on a regular basis. Aegis can automate operational processes on a schedule or in response to events or even on demand so that operations teams don't have to perform these tasks manually. Another common problem we see that people would like to apply automation to solve is reducing the risk of human error. Some operations and security tasks are absolutely mission critical. For example, if an auditor identifies servers that have a security vulnerability, then a process to remediate that is initiated. Aegis can direct this process to make sure that the correct staff are notified and that action is taken within a prescribed time frame so that nothing gets missed. A third common problem that we see that IT organizations want to automate is to accelerate the speed of business. Many IT organizations are starting to use things like service catalogs to allow their users to request IT services. While this helps communicate the services that IT can offer, it also has this increasing demand for services, causing a backlog of requests. Aegis can be used behind the scenes of a service catalog or other request management tools, such as a ticketing system, to automate many of the steps of fulfilling requests, reducing the time that users spend waiting. Now let's talk about some high-level product capabilities that Aegis brings to the table. First of all, it has this great drag-and-drop workflow designer using pre-built activities and connectors to reduce the skill level and time needed to create processes. Processes can also be triggered in three ways, by events, on a schedule, or manually. NetIQ Aegis also offers a complete lifecycle management solution for processes, including rollback capability if changes aren't effective. It also has an embedded correlation engine, and this is unique to Aegis. No other IT process automation tool has it, and what it allows is Aegis to efficiently handle events as process triggers, because we all know that we would love to reduce the amount of manual workload and effort it takes to respond to events. Aegis also gives real-time visibility of the progress of process execution. You actually can see little green check marks appear on the screen as the process is running. So you know exactly where you are in the process and you can troubleshoot it if there's any bottlenecks or things that hang up the process. And finally, Aegis includes reports that assist with continuous improvement efforts. Now let's take a look at NetIQ Aegis. Hi, this is Justin Taylor. I'm back here at BrainShare 2011, and we're going to talk about a product that is part of the NetIQ portfolio, something that uh, if you're a traditional Novell customer maybe you haven't seen before. It's called Aegis, and to help us understand what this does, we're going to be talking to Mr. Jeremy Laners. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. You got it. So what is Aegis? Uh, so Aegis is an is a IT process automation toolkit. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a command and control um, toolkit for building IT processes integrating multiple e uh, applications across your IT organization and allowing you to take your IT process and, and model it and improve it over time such that you can, you can take all those manual repetitive tasks that IT administrators have to do on an everyday basis and, and get rid of that so you can focus on, on your, your real business challenges and, and, the, and improving your business. Could you maybe give me a quick demo? You got it. Uh, so what I've got here is the Aegis console open, and uh, this is just a, a simple view of a, of a process that has already executed. Uh, I'm going to show uh, some integration with App Manager in this case. So here I've got App Manager running, and, and I've got it set up such that it's, it's just monitoring a critical Windows service. Uh, in this case, it's the very critical Windows Audio service, very critical. Uh, the one that we love. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it as if it, uh, it were stopped unexpectedly in an IT organization. And, and here in just a minute, App Manager is going to recognize that an event has occurred. And of course, there it is. Um, and Aegis has already recognized that that event has occurred in App Manager because of the integration between Aegis and App Manager. Um, so by now, we probably have a, a workflow that has already initiated in, in Aegis. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, what I'm really going to look at is is my email because that's what I live by. I live by my email box. Um, so you can see that I've gotten a, an email here that says 
that critical Windows service, the Windows audio service, has gone down on my server, which was called Systems. Uh, the App Manager Event ID, which is important for App Manager administrators. And then I've got some action here. It says, go ahead and visit the, uh, the Aegis console and, and look at some details and approve the restart of that service. So if I go ahead and click this link, it's going to take me to the Aegis console. And you can see I've got a little bit of detail about what's going on. The Windows Audio service is, has gone down. And I've got this tab called Supporting Analysis. The Supporting Analysis tab uh, has, it gives me some additional information about, about what's going on on my server. So a typical IT process would be the server has gone down. I need to do some investigation. I, I need to figure out, was there a CPU utilization spike? Was there a memory utilization? What else was going on? The way that I've set up this workflow is Aegis has done all that investigation for me. So now I can immediately visit the Aegis console and make an informed decision quickly and immediately without having to spend a lot of my valuable time trying to do some, some investigation. So I'm going to go ahead and look at CPU utilization here. and. And I can see that, sure enough, leading up to that system event, the CPU seemed to have climbed pretty substantially. Um, so now I've got the ability to make an informed decision. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and approve that restart. But real quickly, I'll, I'll look at the, the workflow just so I can kind of get a, a good feel for what we were doing in the workflow. Uh, so I can see a bunch of pretty check boxes that say all of these things have executed. And I can see again that I'm, I'm waiting on a restart approval. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it's prompting me to restart the service, yes or no. I'll, I'll say yes. And, and we'll get to watch uh, Aegis execute. So we followed it down. It's, it's now executing the restart affected service activity. Effectively, what we're doing is we're telling App Manager go out and restart that service for us. And uh, here in a moment, App Manager will respond back saying, I restarted the service or attempted to restart the service uh, and it'll give us some details. Um, and finally we'll send out um, a response back to our inbox saying did it succeed or not. And we get to see that in real time with the Aegis workflow. And here it comes. There it goes and sure enough it restarted successfully. And we did a little bit of cleanup at the end of the workflow just to keep App Manager looking pristine. And so, of course, if I go back to my, my inbox, I've got a success email and, and uh, everything was great. Um, so this, this really didn't come for free. You know, you, uh, you had to do a little bit of work to set up that process. Um, so just looking at the process itself, it, it's a visual drag and drop utility, Visio style. Uh, so anybody who's familiar with Microsoft Visio is going to immediately be familiar with how do you make use of this tool. Um, activities are, are very easy to configure. So something like sending out an email is, is done as simply as filling in the from field, the to field, subject and body. All the things that you would expect to fill out when sending an email. Um, so it, it's a very simple product to make use of build your IT process out, connect and integrate with other products in the IT environment, and, and just make the entire IT organization much more efficient. Looks like a great product. Thank you very much for taking the time. You got it. Thanks. Thank you for watching.